Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are diving into winter wonderland as we are exploring the best thing to do in Harbin during this um, chill season. Well, from stunning ice sculptures to traditional winter activities, we say um, Harbin has something for everyone, you know. Yes, um, just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube uh, channel yet, please go down there, click the uh, subscribe button and uh, turn on the notification so you'll be the first one to get notified every time I upload the new uh, video. So let's get started with the five um, popular activities that are done here in Harbin. Yeah, well, so uh, the first in the list is the uh, Sun Island. Yeah, um, I uploaded a video up here of uh, Sun Island. Yes, what is it uh, show? I mean, what is displayed out there? So in Sun Island, they have the so-called Snow uh, Sculpture Art Expo, you know? Yeah, I mean, take, a, take an imagination of, uh, of uh, a very big um, area. I showed it in my video. Uh, now it is covered with all these uh, snow sculptures displaying incredible, incredible arts. Yeah, from mythical, mythical creatures. I do remember in my video I showed you uh, things like um, the dragons and stuff, you know. So all these they have been uh, put it into the into the ice kind of a things, you know. So 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 go out there, explore, see how this um, uh, landmark. I mean, like uh, the Disney land. I mean, the ice Disney land kind of a things, you know. So put into the one this uh, huge uh, um, um, Sun Island. Yes, yeah, so this is actually the perfect spot for the uh, Instagram worth uh, kind of photos, you know. So, well, um, uh, the second one is the uh, Harbin Ice Festival. Yes, uh, most of the people know it has um, uh, Harbin um, uh, Ice and Snow World. Um, actually, it is conducted at the place which is known as uh, Harbin Ice and Snow Ice and Snow World. Yes, yeah, so I mean, uh, it's a it's a it's a festival which is held annually. And uh, just uh, just to uh, to make it more exciting, I mean, it's more exciting. They say that more than uh, nine billion nine billion has been uh, put into this uh, um, um, festival this year, and they have expanded the area to a, uh, a vast, a much bigger area than any other year. So. Yes, um, actually, in this year, it started in uh, January. In January 5th, it was officially opened. I'm pretty sure that we'll be all here until uh, uh, early February, if not uh, March, you know. So it is just uh, amazing, you know. Uh, it's just amazing. Giant scripture, intricate ice carving, and colorful lights, uh, you know. I mean, yeah, just a quick reminder uh, don't forget to bundle up, you know. Put as much as close as, as possible because uh, it's cold out there. It's cold as uh, anything, you know. Yeah. So uh, and about the timing, they say uh, the best timing to go to uh, this uh, festival is uh, yes somewhere during uh, evening, heading to uh, um, night because by that time it's when this um, um, you get to the 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 turn on the lights and you know it's dark and the light comes up and uh, it's so beautiful when it's uh, it's uh, it's, uh, it's dark during the dark where all these uh, lights they've been uh, busted out it's just a magical ice uh, 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 landscape and so beautiful at night you know so the third one is the uh, Zongyang Street uh, Zongyang Street uh, also known as uh, Central Street I also uploaded a video about uh, Zongyang Street it's uh, up here Yes, so uh, you actually, this is the, um, what do you call it, the pedestrian street, uh, which is bustling of uh, uh, activities, you know. It offers uh, a mixed uh, mixed kind of activities. For example, if you want to do the uh, shopping, you want to do uh, uh, dining or entertainment, you know, it's a one uh, Stop for everything, you know. So um, during winter, this one as well, it transformed into a festive market with vendors so selling uh, hot snacks, traditional crafts, and more. So well, uh, the fourth, the fourth activity that uh, it's worth taking uh, during uh, winter in Harbin, the uh, rope. Uh, it's, a, it's a Harbin ropeway, also known as the cable cars kind of a thing, you know. Yes. Yeah, so um, actually, if you are interested into the bird eye view, you know. I mean, like uh, flying over the 
um, liver or something like that and take a spectacular view um, the bottom a bit yes yeah you must uh, take this um, I have uh, uploaded uh, a video here up here as well about the uh, cabin uh, cable cable cars so yes it is uh, definitely worth uh, worth taking you know so this uh, uh, scenic, uh, scenic uh, uh, cable car provides a breathtaking panoramic view of the city, you know, and it's a snow landscape because it goes through, it passes through the uh, Songwa River. Yeah, so it's way, way, uh, way most important, one of the most important activities you should take while you are visiting um, um, having during uh, winter. Well, so uh, the last but not least in my uh, list of activities that you should be doing here in uh, Harbin, this is the Yabula International Ski Resort, you know, so um, Yabula International Ski Resort is the uh, largest and best equipped ski resort in, uh, in the whole of China, you know. So whether you are a seasoned uh, pro or a first timer, the resort offer various slopes for uh, like all skiing level, you know. Yeah, so there you have it, the ultimate uh, guide of uh, activity that you can do here in uh, Harbin during winter season. So if you loved uh, the video, please don't forget to put the uh, like button, share the video and uh, subscribe. Thank you. Until next time, stay warm and keep exploring.